Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to take a look at this chip here. This is the LM3914N and it is a uh, dot or bar graph LED driver. It's a very common chip. It's pretty easy to use. You gotta keep one thing in mind though. It is a current sink. So all these LED attachments you are going to have to hook up like that. Okay, keep that in mind. So it's an 18 pin chip and it will control 10 LEDs. Here we have ground on pin 2, VCC on pin 3. Now the way I've got this hooked up is our low is also hooked to uh, pin 4. Our ground is hooked to pin 4 or low. And our high is set with uh, pin 7. They're hooked together. I'll show you that in the schematic. Don't worry. And then we have a little voltage divider going on here. And our mode chip or our mode pin, if left open, you get a dot display. And if hooked to VCC, you get the bar graph. So it's a useful little chip, and you can chain them together. So basically, whatever you put in to pin 5, whatever analog signal you put into pin 5, it is going to use a bunch of comparators. I'm going to get to that in a minute. And turn on. LEDs in order first, this one, then this one, then this one, you, you get the idea. All the way up to 10, based on your voltage and your input basically needs to be a volt and a half below your input voltage. Your signal needs to be a, a volt and a half below your input voltage because op amps and comparators are not perfect and this is not a rail-to-rail -rail system. Alright? So here's what the inside of it looks like. You know, our signal comes in, goes through a voltage reference, and then it simply goes through a series of comparators. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten comparators that light up those LEDs. That's why I did the comparator videos first, so you would have an idea how a single comparator works. Then we did the, uh, what was it, the 393, or the 339, whichever has the multiple comparators now we have even more comparators so basically they're just window comparators and they just keep going big 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 now here's the circuit we put together it's pretty interesting I mean, it's pretty simple really we have a signal source coming in in this case i'm just using the potentiometer so i can vary from high to low and it comes in here through pin five then the bottom side goes to ground there, you know, pin 2. See, we have our low hook there as well. Our high is hooked over here. Now, this says 6.8 volts. I'm running it at 5 volts. It runs just fine at 5 volts. Now, this says uh, 1.21K. I'm using a 10K here and a 20K here. And the reason I'm doing that is just to, it's for LED dimming. This pin here, the way you set this pin up is what is going to control the current flowing through your LEDs. So no external resistors are needed. That's why it sinks current and that's why it works out really nice. Then we have our reference adjust going in here. Super simple. Let's take a look at the circuit. Here's a circuit all put together with a breadboard. And now pay attention here. See the red line? That's our, our VCC which I've brought down from there and there's your plus sign there's a minus sign so our cathodes are being or our anode is being fed directly from VCC then it's going through these connections back to the chip where it is going to sync the current through the resistor here on pin 7 In this case is the 10k and then we have a little divider going on here you see that coming back here from one end of that 10k resistor coming back to pin 8 and then pin 8 to ground through the 20k. Man, there ain't nothing to it but to do it. This thing's really simple to use. Let me hook it up. 
I've got it powered up and I brought the meter here so I can show you the voltages we're dealing with. So our input voltage 5.19 volts. And then there's our potentiometer hooked up up there. We take a look here at our pin 5 voltage 0.1 volt. Not really enough to do anything with it. But once we start to increase potentiometer goes up until we reach the saturation point and what is the saturation point here hello there we go 3.7 out of our 5.19 so you can see we're about 1.2 volts below our uh, input rail so remember got to have room for that stuff that's why it's like that so I'll turn this back down here and now this red wire here is attached to pin 9 which is our dot bar mode so let's remove it and now we will be in dot mode See how it works? We just move right across, back and forth. Watch, I'll put that in the middle. Then we'll bring that little red wire back. And it should switch right back into dot mode for us. Yep. Super simple. So you can hook up any kind of sensor you want to this, you know, this is an analog sensor, it's not going to deal with any digital data. Uh, you know, temperature sensors, uh, any kind of loudness sensor, like I was going to do it with a microphone, make kind of a little uh, sound pressure meter. But the only mics I have on hand are these ones, which are a ripoff of the Adafruit mic. And these are made for Arduino, so they have a 2.5 volt offset. So they really wouldn't be much use here. You know, you'd only be looking at the upper part of the scale. But you can use it with a regular microphone. Keep in mind, your microphone is going to oscillate about uh, the zero voltage point. You know, so you're going to have positive and negative. This will only read the positive voltage peaks. But hey, you can still do it. Now, you can also cascade these guys together which is pretty cool if you want to learn how to do that or any of the other tricks with it like it has an alarm function or if it goes all the way up they'll start blinking it has an exclamation point function check out the data sheet I'll put a link to it below but uh, definitely put the LM3914 into your bag of tricks it'll be useful and it's super easy to use so I hope you guys enjoyed this little video if you did please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for being there. That's it. I'm out. Peace.